Impactful and engaging storylines are essential to any TV show, but there have been plot points that both writers and audiences pretend never happened. While several TV storylines were abandoned by their writers, there have been examples of storylines that a show's audience base chose to discard as well. This has been for a multitude of reasons, such as a character having done something that doesn't fit their personality whatsoever or because the plotline simply didn't make any sense. Unfortunately, these out-of-place storylines, so much so that it's hoped they hadn't occurred in the first place, cannot be completely ignored. However, there have been instances in which a creative decision had such a terrible response that its respective TV shows retconned entire storylines, such as Roseanne Season 10 or Sarah Tancredi's, Sarah Wayne Callie's, Death in Prison Break. Despite hoping, some storylines still powered on through, even though it's easier to pretend they never happened. One notable storyline from Friends that was widely considered to be one of the show's worst involved the relationship between Rachel, Jennifer Aniston, and Joey, Matt LeBlanc. Although it was clear that Rachel and Ross, David Schwimmer, were always supposed to end up together, the final season of Friends tried to force a Rachel and Joey romance that was simply uncomfortable. In fact, even Aniston took issue with the storyline. According to the book I'll Be There For You, the one about Friends by Kelsey Miller, the actress felt that anything that happened between the two characters should have only been physical. Although it was brilliant that Joey genuinely fell in love, their friendship was much stronger by itself and shouldn't have been messed with. Luckily, the show quickly moved on and pushed Rachel and Ross' relationship again, which was definitely for the best. It was widely considered that Parks and Recreation Season 1 didn't hold up compared to the rest of the show, especially as many storylines became irrelevant later on. One major character in Parks and Recreation's beginning was Paul Schneider as Mark Brendanowicz, who departed at the beginning of season two. During his time on the show, Mark had a relationship with Ann Perkins, Rashida Jones, and often had to reject the advances of Leslie Nope, Amy Poehler, too. Mark had his good moments, but was generally a passive and boring character, hence why he was forgotten in the show's fandom. However, this wasn't a bad thing for Parks and Recreation. Although it could be argued that the show was still finding its feet in season one, the way Leslie constantly pined over Mark and repeatedly tried to relive their one awkward night together made the character look terrible. In later seasons, Leslie's character development got a lot better, and so it was easier to pretend her odd obsession with her co-worker never happened.